This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so yesterday we were discussing on how DNS works, right? So what is in the background whenever we type any website for that matter, what happens? So the whole process we have analyzed it yesterday. So now we are going to do the hands-on like hosting a static website. Okay. So you can type here this three bucket. You can take it here. We are going to. Okay. So we are going to dump a website here. Okay. Website. So here we are going to create a bucket by our domain name. Isn't it? I will sh I will show you step by step what we are going to do. Okay. Now in the website, say for example, I have a domain called www.mithunes.tk. Okay. So this is my domain. Now I want to create a website in such a way that whenever someone is hitting for www.mithunes.tk, they should be redirected to S3 bucket. So that is the idea now. Now if you see here www.mithunes.tk so nothing will come it says it cannot found i have many other domain also okay so no such bucket or something or you you can take uh, um, let me choose another one so let me go to freenom.com first dot com so freenum.com is my domain provider. So who is a domain provider? So yesterday I was telling right that I have a <coughs> domain name like amazon.com hmm? like mithun.com. So these are called domain names and these no names are unique. Suppose if amazon.com is already taken, I cannot take the same name. I need to choose another uh, domain name like amazon1.com, amazon2.com like that okay so let me log in so and this domain is not freely available you need to purchase from any of the domain provider so for in my case my domain provider is freenom.com okay earlier they used to give free domains but now they are not giving only for the existing customers they are giving the domain okay now if you go to the services and click on my domains you will see I have so many domains available and type is free. Okay. So for this demo, I'm going to create one more domain and I'm going to show you. Okay. So register a new domain. Okay. I'm going to check as Amazon. So if it is... Yeah, it is still checking. See, so Amazon.com. I don't know why it is saying it's uh, it is not available. Actually, it is already taken. So Amazon.tv already they are all taken. Okay. Or let me make it more simple. Uh, let us say um, my AWS. And let me select it. So this is my company. I'm just trying to search here. So my AWS. Let me check. You can check by your own names. Okay. Now see here. There is one free. My AWS dot ML. So that, that, that I will take it. Because this is zero. So they are not going to charge me anything for this. I'm going to check out. Okay. And continue. Okay, uh, before that, go back, select this to, okay, let it be, okay, one second, okay, let it complete the order, okay, so I am going to take this for only three months, see, it is captured my public IP, 
this order is provided in a secured environment and to help protect against fraud your current ip address is being logged okay so now it is going to complete the order and now if i go to the my domains it is here my aws dot ml clear so you can now you have to purchase my aws dot ml now this is your domain name now i want to do a routing in such a way that whenever they are searching for my aws dot ml i should get a some page like this see it is now already hitting to freenom dot link okay because i have just purchased the domain i need to manage right isn't it so my domain is managed by freenom so that is why it is forwarding to some freenom dot link okay yeah so let it be so what we have, the first step is we are going to create a bucket with this name so copy this domain name and go to the s3 bucket okay so now let me log in again So I'm logging in my username and password. Okay, so I'm going to the management console. Yes. I'm going to S3. and click on create bucket and type here the your domain name okay and you can deselect all right and if you want you can enable versioning but it is not required so i am not going to enable it and if you go to uh, advanced settings you can enable object lock and everything but it's not required for this demo what is it saying bucket with the same name already exists no it's not there okay let's create it already okay let me make it as www dot bucket with the same name already exists okay somebody have already created the bucket okay let me create one more domain then they have already taken this so i cannot create the bucket mm. so let me use any other one which we have let's say mm, okay let me take this Okay, let me just take this. Okay, I'm going to services, register a new domain and search here. Yes, they are all free. So I'm going to select this so first one get it now okay check out and select 12 months free and continue and complete the order okay so complete the order so this is how you purchase but in your case you will not be given free domain what you have to do you have to uh, spend like 150 rupees so hostinger is the website you can purchase any domain of your choice okay now go to the services my domain and copy this 
okay so as you can see now it is not pointing anywhere now let us go back to our s3 bucket and you can create okay so you can create by this name and region let it be mumbai and block everything i am making it as a public bucket because i want this to be accessed and i am going to create the bucket so i have created the bucket with my domain name which is mithuntechtraining.tk okay now we need we need some data right to in order to put this okay so you can download sample html okay or sample website download so you can do that and you can free css.com so you can download anything you want okay you can you can choose anything so for now i am going to uh, choose yeah i'm going to choose this okay and download okay so it will be in the downloads so go to the downloads and extract all yeah so you can check here so this will be your website okay and this is your index.html clear so close this we are going to upload everything to the s3 bucket okay so now if you want to edit this right go back now these are all the contents if you are really interested to learn uh, html you can go ahead and do that okay so if you go if you double click this you can change here so if you edit so you can achieve that okay so now what we are going to do we are going to the s3 bucket Oh, sorry you're not here yeah so s3 bucket and go inside our bucket and go into the upload add files so go to the downloads okay and select everything and open so now it has taken only the main thing and add folder go to the So add one by one, okay. Just a minute. I'm going to leave. So first I'm going to upload only the files. Okay, go to the downloads. Select. Deselect this, okay, and upload. Okay, and then add the folder. Or else do one thing, add folder, try it for this one second and upload and say what it is going to do let's see what it is doing okay now close this now okay so we don't want this way so we will create the folder structure right because yeah so it is already created the image okay now similarly go to the upload and one by one add the image folder we have added so likewise you can add js folder and 
and then after js folder lib folder okay and then upload and close so if there is a lib folder js folder so everything it is adding so go back so upload so go back to the downloads .net free digital agency yeah so this is done js lib so mail upload then scss upload then css upload and upload so as you can see in the back end it is replicating to the two availability zones so let the upload complete okay so now if you close here yes so scss everything it has copied yeah so this is the folder structure so css img js lib mail everything is there so what else is missing what else let me check so you compare yeah css is there img is there js is there lib is there mail is there SS, scss is there and css okay so all everything we have copied one two three four five six folders should be there so one two three four five six folders so we have copied everything okay I'm, and i have not changed anything in the index.html okay so let it uh, let it be as it is right okay so now after you have downloaded everything right so what you have to do you have to go to the properties you have to select something in the end there will be an option called static website hosting and you have to click on edit and enable okay and here you have to mention index.html and this is optional okay so this is not error.html is something if you want to say if they are looking for something else you can throw out an error okay but that is uh, optional but okay we let us keep both so error.html so we have uploaded index.html but not the error.html that we can upload later okay now we have put the objects now we have to uh, put the error uh, error.html site also so now let us look for error.html file where it is so this pc error dot html so it is searching for that file
okay so now you can see here let us see this open yeah so you can download this so where is this location so right click sorry this one right so open with google chrome okay so it is in this folder so what we'll do we'll close this go to the add files so what is that location c users mission right so c users method then what is that downloads and then yeah bc open yeah so this is the error.html so if you, you can upload this also okay so we are done okay so now let us test this website okay so now in the properties once you have enabled the website right now you are getting an url like this so copy this url and try to hit this so now what we are getting can anyone tell me what is could be the error why i am getting 403 forbidden error it says access denied that is because we have not even though we have made the public we have not given the permission so how to do give the permissions so go to the okay click on bucket policy and search for s3 bucket public access policy and always copy this and paste it here the only thing is you have to replace your bucket name in the here okay and save the changes so after this what will happen now it is publicly accessible now if you just refresh what we are getting the best digital marketing so website everything it is working fine now so within minutes now my website is ready of course these details are dummy okay if so whenever you see everything it is pakka if you click on any page everything is working so projects pages so meet the team so this is the team member everything is running perfectly see web development web design content writing right everything is perfect now if you want to say now that error.html will come to me. So if, if if I search for slash mithun, now that should, should redirect to me like the page you are look, looking is not available. That is because slash mithun is not there in the my website scope. Okay. So but this is there. So dot net, we are getting everything. Okay. But this is something mithuntechtraining.tk.s3-website.ap this is very very big i don't want this to happen i want this website to appear when i hit uh, this which one when i hit this one www.mithun tech training dot tk so if i hit this i should get that website because this is very short when compared to this oh, sorry this one a very that go yeah this one right so now i'm going to do that so how we can do that by which service by this service now what i have done here i have hosted this in the bucket i have hosted this but how to tell any computer or any you browser that whenever i am hitting for www.mithuntechtraining.com it should come and hit this s3 bucket only you are getting it so for this 
I have installed all the components in this bucket. But whenever now I need to change because I change the website, right? So Mithun Tech Training dot sorry dot pk not dot com, right? Okay, so here I added all the files. So let me mention here added all website files. Okay, now I can access, but only with the bucket URL. But I want to in such a way that whenever from the computer, the same computer, if I hit www.mithuntrektraining.com, I should hit this bucket. So how to do that? So I need to make use of this service. So let us copy. So what I will do in the in the AWS account, in the same AWS account, I'm going to create what is known as hosted zone. Very, very important. Please note this point. I need to create a hosted zone. Okay, so hosted zone I'll create with the same name. For example, Mithun Tech Training dot tk i should create the like this and let me maximize this okay okay i need to create this and then this information name server so once once i create this hosted zone it is going to give me a name server so it will give me name servers okay so this aws will give me four name servers where i am going to put this information what information that if anyone is looking for this mithuntechtraining.tk and where it should point so that information i am going to put it in the name servers and what information i am going to put i am going to put a a record what is that a record i am going to show it to you one by step by step so a record i am going to create only then whenever someone is hitting so first it will come and contact this name server via route 53 and then it will take the ip address and then it will hit the either ip address or the c name canonical name Okay, I will show you how to do that. So, how to create a hosted zone? So, go to your Amazon console, type R53, that is route 53, and select this. So, as you can see here, there are no hosted zone created. So, I am going to create a hosted zone. So, click on Mithun Tech training dot tk spelling make sure the spelling is okay so the hosted zone is for with the training dot tk and you select public hosted zone and then create remember this is chargeable but it is only 50 cents that is close to 35 rupees so you can manage not an issue now this was i was talking about this is the name server so what you have to do here is first you need to copy this name server and you need to give this information in the freenom.com where you have registered your domain so go to your domain click on manage domain and go to the management tools click on name server and it is now using the free norm name server which we don't want we will go give it as a custom name servers and paste here that's it so paste one by one paste one by one paste one by one so all the four name server you are going to paste okay these are same thing which are here see and then change the name server and that's it 
okay so my job is not yet finished so what i did as per the diagram i just created a hosted zone here i created hosted zone and name server okay and uh, i have registered to my free norm where i have purchased but i have to create this record right only then it will point so how to do that so go here and click on create a record and you have to select the subdomain and for that you can select star star means anything okay and forward it to a record so this is the a record and create alias and select the s3 website okay and which region <clears throat> mumbai region so where is it mumbai mumbai region and it will search it's uh, it's in mumbai only right one second let me just cross verify whether i created in mumbai region or not yeah asia pacific mumbai so let me just see here s3 website endpoint and choose region to second or select this one and select alias Just a minute, okay. Okay, go to your S3 management console and select here. Uh, sorry, this one. Go to the properties. Yeah, this I copy this and and create records. What is this use within? Uh, okay, the not a valid S3 point uh, S3 dash website. Mm. just a second what create record uh, select alias it should come here I don't know why it is not coming uh, Let me check any mistake have done here. Enable bucket hosting. Try one more time. Okay. 
Next is the website endpoint. Choose region. Mumbai is not coming. Uh, do one thing so we'll copy this and we are going to paste here for everything for star means for every value and we are going to okay so we will create like this so what this will do this will forward it to so when I so now let me try it may take some time okay okay dot and meanwhile you can also try in a cognito mode sorry not this sorry train dot tk I'm going to edit something. Change the value. So let us wait for some time. It may because it takes some time to propagate the changes. Or else we'll do one more thing. We'll create one more bucket. www dot. Training. Dot tk right, and it is will be in the same region. And you can block this. You can make it public. No issues. <laughs> and create bucket. Okay, now we have two buckets with the same. Only difference is go to the properties again. Static websites is disabled. Enable it. Okay, and redirect. So host is a redirect request to an object, and we are going to redirect this to the another bucket. Let us also do that. So buckets. So host name you can redirect request to another bucket or a domain. So you can 
do that isn't it so test bucket dot s3 same thing so it is going to redirect to this okay anything so protocol can be anything HTTP or HTTPS anything you can and save the changes okay now let us go back and try if it is getting not yet so what we'll do we'll go back and we'll edit this record and we are going to change this to a record click alias choose s3 endpoint choose a region I don't know why it is not coming mm, just a minute I'm going to delete and create once again. So create record. So search for star anything and alias choose endpoint S3. Should click actually. Um, one second, let me troubleshoot this. Um, So we need to sometimes so let us see what could be the issue. Yeah, correct as per the AWS documentation. Create to Yeah, and one more thing what we will do in the permission we will give the public access policy okay sometimes this is that is also necessary okay so publicly accessible so that also could be the reason all right so now again let us go back no resources found why it is saying like that within tech training there are two uh, but still it is not working mm. Yeah, same thing we have done. Read an LS record.
Yeah, it should work actually. Same thing I have done. Yeah. So sometimes, see, it will take some time to propagate. Okay. So you have to create two buckets. So one bucket for the with the www and the another one so first it will go to this one because the entire thing should match to this so first the request will come here and this bucket will only this is empty and this is going to forward it to this bucket where our website is going to reside and if i try to hit yes it will take some time and meanwhile you can also guys try because now it, uh, it it should work. Can anyone try? I am going to put it in the chat. So I am going to take a new cognito mode. So sometimes this DNS, uh, you know, behaves very weird. Okay, so sometimes it will be very fast. Sometimes it will be very slow. So it will take. You have to wait some time because you need to check the two things here, right? Because the change is saved successfully, but it is changed. But sometimes it takes time to propagate. So we will have to wait until it is fixed. Or we can also check here. No, it's not working. And can anyone of you try? Are you able to access this? No, sir. Hmm? No, sir. It's not coming. Okay. No, it should. It is not. A, it is not reaching the bucket. Also, if it, if it was a bucket problem, right? Then uh, you, you would have you would have got uh, access denied. So, so it is a DNS issue still it is unable to figure out so we will wait so any question guys until we get that result any questions from your end sir we will create two buckets now sir yeah yeah we have to create two buckets i am giving i will yeah. give you the link there are Agala. there is a step by step procedure they have given here so there are 12 steps so you have to follow all these steps sir, bucket policy yes yes Dakat Melene Bandido. Okay. You can create the two, bucket, uh, two buckets like this, or else you can create only single buckets with this name. Okay. Nan Munche and Marde, either Bari Mithun train tech training or TK and the Marde. Yeah, you created one bucket first. Later, you created second bucket. How do? So, in, so here there are no so objects at all. So that is why it is saying. And as per this configuration, it is just going to redirect to this. This empty bucket. Uh, this is just an empty bucket. And it is just going to redirect to my this bucket. Okay, so access denied. Birth. So maybe it will, we will wait for some time. Okay. And meanwhile, any other questions? So let us try to find out what is happening. Mm, ping.
let me try to get the okay it is not see it is unable to get the host so that is why okay we can also try this one minute huh? copy this You can check also there is a uh, domain checker websites okay you can check here uh, uh, yeah who is dot com so this is the best website you can domain you can paste the domain name and it will tell where it is pointing we can come to know So it is trying to find out. Sir, now it is working, sir. Hmm? Website. Now it is working. It's working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it right. So now it is working fine. But it is redirecting. So in order to change that, what you can do? So it is working fine. So what we can do is, in order to do this, go to the objects and go here copy everything go to actions and copy okay destination bucket you can give s3 colon forward slash forward slash www dot mithun tech training dot TK right and it will copy all the object and copy okay so it has successfully copied close it and go back to the bucket so here everything is working fine and again go back to the property and static website and now you don't need a uh, redirect here just check index.html and error.html and then save changes and you just hit enter. it is still forwarding so it will take some time okay so you just wait and watch oh okay any other doubts and we don't uh, we no need or long uh, no longer need this another bucket because now we have changed the settings right now it in some time as you see here it is going to serve in this bucket only and you can cross verify that and you can cross verify that by checking here isn't it so it is perfectly working fine only thing is this dns sometimes takes some time so not dot com okay okay any idea you got the idea right yes sir 
okay see it is forwarding to where so it is forwarding to the s3 bucket if you edit the record now if you close it so it is forwarding to s3 bucket only but it is taking some time so if you open an incognito mode in it may work www dot sorry cleaning up okay still not working it will take some time guys okay you please practice this okay so this completes our route 53 okay with and i'm going to give this so configure a static website using a custom domain i'm going to paste this okay and try to do this if you have any doubts bring it to me tomorrow okay monday and monday uh, we are going to continue with route 53 only there are two more records to be discussed and after that we are going to start with rds okay if time permits we are going to do the three tier web application or else it will be a homework for you guys okay so any more doubts and why no, there sir. are only very less people one two three four five six six only six members where are the others anyone from afpl here yes sir uh, how many members are there from afpl sir I only think one. one not only one no. i don't know sir i think might be 10 10 but there are only the total six members including me one two three four five including me five members Other. okay anyway uh, let's see no problem okay, okay. i'm going to stop the recording